All right, DJ Big, Team Monster DJ's here. Um, I'm doing what we call the iPod setup uh, for a gathering, a uh, birthday party gathering over at VBG. It's a basketball company, Melrose, Massachusetts. Real simple setup, um, having about 30, 40 people. Wasn't really a budget for a DJ, so I kind of just gave them a price for the mix. And I threw in the sound system, plus I know the people. They're the pretty cool people. I'm gonna scan around the room and I can't, I'm gonna show you how you can kill two birds with one stone, you know, in this in this gig log. All right, so I'm gonna pan around the room, and then I'm gonna show you on the setup. My iPod's dead, so video quality on my cell phone isn't exactly like the iPod. All right, pan around the room. Here we go. That's outside in the gymnasium. They're gonna have some people playing basketball. Uh, the client is turning 28. Surprise birthday party, VBG in Melrose. This is at the athletic center. I'm gonna pan around slow so it doesn't. Still like so. This is where the people are gonna be at. And I'm setting the speaker up right here, close to the window because they'll still be able to hear the music outside because the vibrations. I have the Alto. Um, what do we have? The Alto TS 115A. Excellent bass response. This is what the Mackie Thump should have been, 800 watts. Mackie Thump has the thump, but it doesn't have the power. All right, so that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna be playing it off my Android tablet. I, uh, five hour mix I made for them. Put a whole bunch of mixes together. Top 40, R&B, hip hop. Um, I offer this as a service because there's a big demand for it. You know, some people do have little house gatherings and they don't want to do Pandora. They don't want to do iHeartRadio. They want to mix. And so for the gatherings, I make the mixes. For the parties, I DJ. All right, DJ Big. Team Sorry, DJ. What's the flow? 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 All right, DJ Big Head, just wanted to follow up from the gig log from last night, the iPod set up. Uh, I was going to use my iPod for the gig log because it's better video quality. I'd rather just keep the same quality across the board. Um, so, I know I'm going to catch a lot of slack for talking about the iPod set up. And the city of Boston, there's a lot of lounges, a lot of clubs lost their entertainment license to have a DJ. So the clubs just didn't want to shut down. So what they would do would, they would, you know, contact, you know, good DJs and tell them, look, man, make me a mix. Make me a four-hour mix. Um, what's your price? And I would tell them the price that I would charge them for the night. And they'd be like, wow, wow, why so much? I'm like, well, I'm giving you a mix that you're going to use um, that's Xing me out the picture. You're never gonna need me. You're not gonna call me for like another month or so. Whereas before, you would call me, um, you know, weekly to do your spot or monthly or whatever, or the promoters or whatever. You know, they'd find a spot or a bar or a restaurant didn't have an entertainment license, so they could play an iPod mix. And this was a this was really big in the city of Boston for like three years because you know the for whatever reason. Long story short, so it caught on. People would ask me, you know, to they, you know, contact me and be like, "So, you know, how much for the party?" And be like, "Wow, why so much?" Um, I'm like, "Well, I'm only having like, you know, 30, 40 people in my small apartment, you know." Um, and I'd say, "Look, you know, for that price, you're gonna x me out. You're not gonna call me for your next gathering." So what I decided to do was. Uh, start doing it as an equipment rental. Uh, bring the speaker, bring the iPod, or connect into somebody's house sound system. 
um, one one person had a backyard party, and um, their parents just pretty much said no DJ. So what I did was I brought my speakers and played a mix, and the kid was happy because you know his parents were just afraid that a DJ the party would get out of control. Um, so it caught on to me. I said let's just start doing it as an equipment rental. So now what I do is I offer I call the iPod setup where I bring the iPod, I bring the speakers. Uh, depending on their budget, one speaker, two speakers, I'll even bring a wireless microphone. You know, some people want to make a couple announcements, family gathering, whatever the case may be. And I'll just do an equipment rental for the people. So I just wanted to clear that up before I start getting the comments. I'm an opportunist. As being a businessman, I hate to turn away people. And plus, there was other parents there at that gathering. I left business cards. I've talked to people Actually, a client that I did a wedding for, his daughter was there. So, you know, and then I found out another person is getting married. So I had a chance to give their mother a cop, I mean, a, a business card and a flyer. So, you know, outside of saying that, equipment rentals, you never know how you treat them. It's all about pretty much how you're going to treat, you know, each gig, you know. So I just wanted to clear that out before people start leaving some nasty comments on YouTube and on my Facebook um, dang. Waste enough of you guys' time. Alright, DJ Big, Team All Side DJs, I'm out.